questions before we start? Give a crime 
understand the college we would get rid of crime. Pop had populate the public school system and the Edgecombe County side and how we will make the school system in Rocky Mountain the best school system we ever see. Thank you for your votes. Thank you for this opportunity that we have to serve. And I like to say the Rocky Mountain City Council is one of the only cities around that have taken the minimum wage up to $15 an hour. And that's because we operate and work as a team and not as an individual. I look forward to collectively working with my team to move this city forward. Thank you. Thank you. 
piece of country. I moved there many years ago. I attended Nashville came out schools, graduated from Northern Nash High School in 1980. There was a special love for me for Nash County and for the city of Rocky Mountain. But let me back up for a second, baby. There's no possible way that you can really love Nash County without loving Rocky Mountain. It's all in one. I'm excited about the possibility of Nash County growing so much so that we can embrace Rocky Mountain like we should. I like to see the city of Rocky Mountain and the Nash County Sheriff Department do a better job of partnering to address safety and crime in Rocky Mountain. That's a possibility. That can happen. And those of you that know me, I have the pleasure of pastoring a small group of people in Isdale community in a church called Rocky Nations. I've been there for 23 years as their senior, senior pastor. Also, I work for a general church. I'm a member of the United Holy Church of America as evangelism director for many years in our church. But more so than that, my real love is for education. Many of you who know me know that I have served for the Board of Education at National County Schools for 12 years. Privileged one of those years to serve as chair. I like to see us do a better job in the community in really dealing with education. As Mr. Williams said, making education the best thing in Rocky Mountain, in the state of North Carolina. I'll be busy saying something. Uh, thank you so much for your vote. And remember, I'm raising silver out of seeking District 6 County Commissions. Board of Commissions, thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Candace. We do have a stand in for Gwendolyn Wilkins, or uh, yeah, Wilkins. So if you'd like to just go to the table and use that microphone.
part of the group and be a part of the ownership. Not just a small group of people going to the island of the family, but all of us going as a county together. So infrastructure with broadband and water lines in the rural areas of Nashville.
opportunities were not balanced here. They left, the children left, the parents stayed, and oftentimes died without wills and without resources to improve. Um, what I feel is that we've got to have an equal balance. Um, what I am more interested in is helping people stay in their homes if they desire to. Opportunities for investment to do so. We have people who live in neighborhoods help to rebuild their own neighborhoods. Now, I recognize while that's happening, we still have to invite other people in. We can't be closed communities and closed neighborhoods to anyone. Um, that's segregation still. You know, but what I do believe is that we don't displace people who exist to replace them with other people. We've got to find ways to do Thank you. 
go to the peaks. I, I started out in Rocky Mountain. I've already told you that. I, I try to understand. I can't remember. I sort of said, no, I don't, I don't totally understand the world. I don't. And I don't claim to. But I do claim to be willing to listen and to talk to people who understand things. But at the same time, we as a city council should not make decisions that number one are not open. But yet, what we're coming to learn nowadays is that things have changed. Situations have changed. So I would just urge us to be as open and as honest as we can in dealing with people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, transparency is something I've been advocating for, for for years. Uh, social media, uh, television, radio, talking about uh, letting the community know what's happening. In fact, I received a text message today someone said, good luck, you work hard, and keeping citizens informed about the city that anyone that I've ever heard about can keep at. Transparency is important. We can talk about the historical issues that happen, because that, that's important too, but that should not keep us from moving forward. we got to recognize that history has happened, but at the same time, when somebody's in our community who's bleeding, they need the attention there. When someone's in our community dealing with blighted housing, they need that attention now. So, so oftentimes we'll get caught up in the mess of transparency when we really need to be focused on, on the issue. Because when we fight and work towards that issue of improving lives in our community, the transparency will be there. We're doing it at open sessions and we're doing it uh, where people can know that they're a part of it at the end of the day. That is important to me. Uh, I will continue to fight for that. I'm thankful that the city has improved uh, its communication to the community. Uh, you look at live streaming, we want to have that. You, you look at uh, recording council meetings and airing the back of, of City TV 19 and the improvements there. That we have gone a long way when it comes to transparency in our community. And so we're very thankful for that and must continue uh, to do that. Most importantly, we must focus on the issues that the hand is pressing our city. All right, thank you. I would like to thank you. Thank you.
that our efforts to ensure that people knew what was going on was being hijacked by a handful of folk who really didn't care what we were doing. They had an agenda to really destroy momentum. So for me, transparency doesn't just mean exposing all that you do. It's talking about why you do what you do and then showing people the process and how we get involved and making decisions happen. And I'm proud of the decisions we made, and I have no problem going in my neighborhood and saying this block needs to be worked on. I'm fine with that.
nation exists in Rocky Mountain today. It is a fallacy that all things Edgecombe County are inferior to Nash County. The four schools managed by the Nash Rocky Mountain School System in Edgecombe County, Fairview, Johnson, Baskerville,
All right, now. The same old hollering about transparency at Rocky Mountain City Council don't have the guts, the backbone, or the interest to peel back Nash County politics. Right. They changed the way the General Assembly dealt just to keep our schools segregated, took Rocky Mountain out of the picture. We were paying half a million dollars to $1.2 million a year to make up the gap. Nash County majority said, take Rocky Mountain out. That belongs to Edgecombe County because they wanted to break their backs. But I'm here to tell you that resiliency exists in places where oppression is strong. Mm. And we'll fight it and we'll win and we'll be better for it and our children will accept. That's right. I know what you're talking about. That's right. That's right. Yes. Uh, oh, no, 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 no,
things of War 7. I don't claim to know all the needs of War 7. That one of my jobs is to get out and to understand it more. But the things I have heard, community building and environment, lack of recreation facilities, preparation for future growth, and understanding all the positive things that are going on in our city. And finally, my last but not least, I hope you will vote for me if you're in War 7. Uh, these are two fine gentlemen, but I'd rather have you vote. But what's, what's important is that you vote. Vote, vote, vote. That's the only way we can make a difference in our community. Thank y'all. Truck and was able to bring his guy back to life. 
so using my own credit, using my own wealth that, that, that I was, was fortunate to be able to create, I was able to do those things because one, I believe in personal responsibility. <coughs> Two, I believe in my community. While I was at East Carolina University, some of my friends would always say, well, I guess Bronx is in Rocky Mountain because Rocky Mountain is a place that I've loved for all of my 36 years. Rocky Mountain is a place that has really rooted something great in me that I believe is now time to, to give back to the community in a, in a meaningful way and serve it as the next council person representing Ward 3. Will I have all the answers? No. But one thing that you will know about me is that I don't mind talking to each and every person I sit in throughout our board. And I do understand, as Ecclesiastes has to know, that there's, there's that to do under the heavens, but also there's times for different things. There's a time to fight, but also there's a time to work together. There's a time to do something that to make our community better than what we once found. And I believe that every citizen in Rocky Mount has something unique that they can offer to this city to build us from where we are today to truly where we can be tomorrow. Rocky Mount is truly a genius. We put past or put down the past offers and pick up hammers and tools of hope and prosperity. Our future is amazing. It's truly amazing. I ask that while we identify blight and, and communicate plans that will really move our community forward, most importantly, let's work together. Understand also that the incubator to economic activity is certainly education, and we must get back into the business of educating our children. Thank you. 
continued support to keep me in my seat, one, two, and rocking my city council. And what I want to say is, I agree with everything everybody here said, <laughs> so I'm going to do all of that. Uh, I, I, I am a worker. Rocky Mountain has been good to me, and I've given my life for Rocky Mountain. And I think in this city, we found some of the best people that could ever be found in the world, and you deserve the best. And so what I want to do is continue the momentum that we have built together. We built it against all odds. People thought we'd never be where we are. They thought we'd perish. They thought we'd shrivel. They thought we'd go away. But it's not happening. I'm afraid and unashamed of everything that we have done together in this city because I know the difference between what seems and what is. I'm a North Carolinian, and our motto is S.A. Quam Fidelity, and it says to be rather than to seem. I'm Reuben Blackwell, I'm ready, and I'm what I say I am. Not for other people. Hey, guys. I like that. So thank you for your support. Thank you for working with me. I ask for your vote.
on that. I thank you for that. And I say to all of you, God bless. May he bless you from the front of your head to the soul of your feet. May he bless your coming and your going. Uh, and I know that whoever wins, uh, I know that you will do what God will have you to do for God's people. And we thank you so much. God bless. And again, let us give a round of applause. And let us